Good morning, church. I don't know if you can tell. I'm a little bit sunburned today uh, because this morning I went on a prayer walk through my neighborhood down here on the south end of town. And today I wanted to um, I wanted to prepare you because today you're in for a special treat. Today's video was made by my wife Jennifer, and uh, she put in about two hours worth of thought into. Um, that's a little exaggerating, maybe it was about a half an hour, but anytime she's away from me, it feels like time is going really slowly. But anyway, she put in a ton of time, a ton of thought, into just something she found out was only three minutes long. And she comes down and she says, I'm sorry, I just did my video and I realized it's only three minutes long. So anyway, I've already talked almost as much as she did in her video, but here's the thing. Whenever you get a chance to hear her share what's on her heart, it's worth paying attention to. It's worth listening carefully to. You don't get to see my wife a lot. Because on a Sunday when we're all gathered together, on a normal Sunday, the way they used to be, she's never around on stage because she's always around helping someone. Maybe she's in the Kidopolis area or maybe she's in the lobby, but... She's always spending time with someone. And now in the video, you're going to find out why. Hi, it's Jen Michaels. And for um, 21 Days of Prayer, the thing I've been thinking about and the thing I've been praying about for months really has just been family. And it's not unusual for me if you know me very well at all, but, um, but I've been praying for comfort and for peace, for wisdom, um, and just it just keeps coming back to that piece for everybody who's part of my family. Um, for me, family is not just the people I live with. Um, it's the people I, I used to live with and the people that those people love and the people that um, they've added into our family. Um, it's the people I work with. It's the people that, um, that I go to church with. And um, so all of that together equals family for me. And I... Um, I'm excited to see that grow, and I am brokenhearted sometimes with you, and I am elated with you, and I am super happy to be those things with you. Um, but but I can be super awkward sometimes, and um, and can't fix all of those things as much as I want to. Um, so I I need you to forgive me sometimes, and and show me and others grace, and um, and to just be there to all be part of a family. Um, to cover for one another during those times. Um, it can't just be one person loving the whole family. It has to be a family being together as a team. Um, just really needing each of us to do our part. Um, if I think back of the family I grew up with, um, when, I, when, when I say family, I think of all of the people like from my grandparents down. And so in my family, that, w that was a lot of us. Um, I don't know, 50, 60 people. <laughs> um, in, in all. And so not everybody was at every single thing, but somebody was at everything that was important. And all of us were together when something was critical, um, at least as much as, as could be. And so we can't have one person be our family as part of our family. We need to all together be a family. And we need to show one another grace when we fail at it. Um, and we need to show one another kindness and love um, and perseverance through it all. Um, yeah, yeah, it just really needs to be all of us together, um, being family. Um, so I'm praying um, right now during this time, especially how, how we as a church family can um, be a better family together, even through all of this distance. And, um, and praying also for all of my family that um, they can all feel peace and comfort from God. Um, during all that has been 2020 so far. Bye. I'm so glad God gave me the opportunity to be a part of her family. Because, you see, I think all of us need to have that reminder. For me, family is not as natural as it is to my wife. But Jennifer has taught me how to expand my idea of family far more. And I want you to know that even though we haven't been around, I care for you guys just as much as I care for 
my family, because you are my family. And anytime we're away from each other, anytime a relationship gets broken, that's painful. And listen, I know that all of us are going through some rough times right now. But I hope that during this time, you can see yourself as part of this bigger family. The family of God and the family of our little church family. And I hope you can also tell that you're part of my family too. We love you. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, would you just be at work in our family? Lord, these days, everything seems out of whack. And it doesn't seem like anything is going the way we would expect it to, or anything is going the way that we had planned it would, or that we want it to. But, Lord, we recognize that you're a God who has a plan for us. And so we ask that you would be at work in our lives to reveal your plan in a more deep way to us than we've known before. Lord, right now, when all of our comfort zones have been crushed, I pray that you would reveal yourself to us and bring us peace and bring us love for one another and bring us encouragement from your spirit and give us an awareness of family that goes beyond physical presence. Lord, we need you. We need your guidance. Would you move in our midst? We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, if Christians are feeling the stress of these days, particularly the stress of a distant family, it's almost certain that people who don't have the confidence in God, who don't have the fellowship of the Spirit, and who don't know the security of a, of a godly Christian family in their lives, it's certain that they're feeling the stress even more. Today, let's be people who recognize that we are the blessing the world needs. And let's bring it to them in whatever way God gives us the opportunity. Thanks for joining us here this morning. We'll see you again tomorrow.